Well, kind of. Great birthday. I feel like I'm getting younger every year. If you look at my pictures 10 years ago, you will see that I actually am getting younger. I look so much better. Way hotter, way sexier, way smarter, faster, stronger, the whole thing. It's good. So don't be scared. These are just little bullet points. Um, because tonight, what I want to share with you is what I think are the seven superhero essentials for invincible health. So I've distilled down all the stuff and the millions of things and the gadgets and the supplements and the fasts and the alkalinity versus acidity and the um, blood type diet and like local, primal, vegan, raw, vegetarian, living, sprouted, whatever. All of it. And to me, if you want to get the most out of intentionally eating, intentionally consuming, this is what I recommend. First of all, no matter what you do, massively bless everything. If you don't do that, it doesn't matter how spot on you are, you're gonna miss the whole point. You might as well go to McDonald's and eat a cheeseburger because you're a judgmental jerk and you're not feeling the love. And if you're not feeling love, you're not getting the point of choosing love in the food that you communion. So, I'm gonna stand on a chair. Because it's my birthday. <laughs> okay, so the first Look thing the is this. This is gonna be fast. This is gonna be the fastest talk ever given. <laughs> Eat wild food. You're not talking very fast. Honestly. Eat wild food. What I mean by wild food is food that has not been domesticated by the human brain. Food that has survived millions of years of pestilence, weather, uh, all kinds of planetary changes um, being consumed by animals, and the fact that they still exist right now, the same strains, those are the superhero foods. Those are the smartest foods. They're the strongest foods. They have the most complex genetic material, and you are what you eat, so if you eat those foods, you're gonna be that. And just keep in mind that the way the recommended daily allowance for vitamins and minerals and that kind of thing, um, we don't know what we're talking about. I mean, science is just discovering like what all the B vitamins are. Like every year, there's a new B vitamin that they're saying they just discovered. Well, they may have just discovered it. But it was always in there anyway. So you don't have to know and you don't have to make sure that you're getting like 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day because if you're just eating goji berries and apples and um, you're getting it in you anyways. But in line with eating wild foods, remember that the indigenous peoples and the wild people of the world, those are the people that existed before we started having civilizations and then the civilized people wiped them out because we're so civilized and they're so wild. That's confusing. Um, they, the amount of nutrition that they have been getting, and this is where we come from, this is what has evolved our genetic material over millions of years until just a few thousand years ago. Um, the amount of nutrition they were getting in everything, because everything was organic, it was fully mineralized, it was all wild food, and they were eating it like this, like it wasn't it grown under fluorescent lights and shipped in a temperature controlled truck and stored at Whole Foods and waxed and sprayed, and I don't know if some of you know this, or all of you, or none of you, but according to the organic standards, it's okay to use toxic municipal waste as fertilizer. That's what organic food is. So if you think what you're buying at Whole Foods is good enough, it's not good enough. Get on wild foods. Here's some wild foods. Brazil nuts. Everybody can get Brazil nuts. Goji berries from dragon herbs. Those are wild goji berries. They're not cultivated. They grow way up high on the mountain. Um, chia seeds are a very undomesticated food, very affordable. Um, eat your dandelion greens out of your backyard. Throw them in your blender with a banana and some chocolate or make a salad out of them. Um, um, medicinal mushrooms and all wild water. Wild water is water that just comes out of the ground. It's a novel concept. So 
Point number one, eat wild food as much as you can. Point number two, clean out your colon. If you don't get colonics, get a product called OxyMag. It's activated oxygen. It will dissolve everything in your colon if you don't get a colonics. It's a more affordable way. I personally like colonics. Um, getting colonics or cleaning your colon will change your life. That's where your blood is made. If your blood is clean, your cells are clean. If your cells are clean, fungus, mold, bacteria, yeast, and all manner of disease and toxicity cannot take root in your system. So clean your colon. Eat healthy bacteria is point number three. What that means is fermented foods. All of civilization, before civilization, people have always cultured foods. Um, your bacteria is your immune system. Most people don't know that. You're coated on the outside, you're coated on the inside, and if you don't have healthy bacteria, uh, this, the invaders, the foreign invaders get in, and, and then you get, you know, you have to rely on your backup defense system, which is your white blood cells. Um, so eat healthy bacteria, very important. Superhero tea, every day. Superhero tea is like anything that's a superfood. Superfood usually looks like not a lot of mass, a whole lot of energy and nutrition. So um, herbs, mushrooms, berries. Um, my superhero tea has, and I have this pot on my stove nine months out of the year, and every smoothie I make, every soup I make in the blender, soaking my chia seeds, pouring it over, you know, whatever I'm mixing up in a bowl, it goes into everything, or I just drink it. And um, I get stuff like ginseng root, and goji berries, and reishi mushrooms, shaga mushroom, horsetail, nettle, comfrey, um, cinnamon, vanilla bean, whatever. Like go to mountainroseherbs.com and look under the herb section or the roots and it's all superfoods. And just make your own concoction and every day I reboil it and that's essentially how we get our supplements affordably into our bodies from whole foods. Um, they're immune system builders, they're antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, they'll make you smarter, it's good. Next thing is something that I've discovered is really important, which is fasting one day a week. So from lunch one day to breakfast the next day, I don't eat anything, and I just drink water. And I can't believe what a difference that has made. I'm not going to say more about that, just do it and you'll see for yourself. Uh, so, what, what number is this? One, six. two, three. Number six? Number six is get out of this zoo. We live in a zoo. This world is made up of elements. Fire, water, air, earth. The zoo gives you those elements instead of having you just be in them. So you have the artificial lights, fire. You have the artificial earth, prefabricated food. Um, you have the artificial air, which is cooked and forced and deranged. And you have the artificial water, which is disturbed and disorganized and not intelligent. And um, this is how we're living. So if you want to really embrace what living foods is about, it's about more than living foods. It's just about life, period. So go back out there, get out of the zoo and become a feral human being. And a feral animal is an animal that has been domesticated and rewilds itself. And they're very intelligent because they've been through the zoo and they make it back out again and they survive and there's a lot of experience and wisdom in that. So go sit on the earth and get informed. Like your circadian rhythms, check in with the electromagnetic grid of the earth every 90 seconds. That's how your body regulates everything. Go sit on the earth, sit under God's lamp, the sun of God that rises again every day. Go sit under it and get some information. Um, go drink wild water. There's springs everywhere. Um, go to findaspring.com um, or just get Mount Olympus water and ask for the non-fluoridated whatever kind. 
the kind that they do the least stuff to is the kind that you want. And um, drink wild water and get outside and breathe. Um, and that will change your thoughts and you will become a different person because you're getting new information. You're getting living information that wasn't created by a human brain somewhere in a laboratory. You're getting information that was programmed by some great intelligence. So that's number six. Oh, number seven I already kind of touched on. Go sit on your mother's lap every day and let her tell you about who you are. Um, our cells, well, our bodies have, um, our heart is, is an electromagnetic generator and receiver. So we're giving and receiving information about ourselves and the world all the time. And everything is like that. And the earth has a giant electromagnetic grid around it. And um, if you go stand on the earth, those electromagnetic frequencies entrain with each other. And scientists have, have proven this in labs by taking heart cells and when they just put one in a petri dish, it dies. But if they put another one in another petri dish and their electromagnetic frequencies overlap, they entrain with each other and they make each other stronger. They give each other more information about how to be. That's why babies that aren't touched die. That's why breastfeeding is so important because the information of the baby is not well developed enough. It needs to connect to a larger body, a more developed system. We need that with our mother. That's why we get jet lag when we're in an airplane because we get disconnected from the information we need to know how to be and where we are and what time it is and all those things. Um, so take off your shoes for 10 minutes. Go stand in the dirt. Go sit down and just listen and just be quiet and let her take care of you because there's things going on that our brain isn't aware of that are really important. And those are my seven superhero tips for immense health. Thank you.